So, I started by doing like reading vlog updates, but very quickly realized that if I continued doing that, I would spoil everything. So, I decided to just scrap that and do it like this instead. So, I got a bunch of books. Um, which are red. So starting off we have the first series, the adult series, which is Johnny Be Good and then Baby Be Mine. Um, yeah, the adult series. <laughs> Following Meg who becomes uh, the PA to Johnny Jefferson, rock star, mega star. Ooh. And then we have the teen series, which comprises of The Accidental Life of Jesse Jefferson, um, I Knew You Were Trouble, and All About the Hype. So in these ones, we follow Jesse Jefferson, who uh, discovers she is Johnny Jefferson's long lost daughter. So just saying that kind of spoils. Yeah. <laughs> And to like s bridge the gap, I think, uh, is what Page Tune uses as a phrase, is a short story which is in this book, uh, One Perfect Christmas and Other Stories. So I haven't read this whole short story collection. I only read, um, let's see, I read Johnny's Girl, which is like the sequel I suppose to Johnny Be Good and Baby Be Mine and then like the prequel to the Jesse Jefferson ones and then I also read Johnny's Girl which is like a extra scene from the the novella the short story uh, but it's told from Johnny's point of view instead of Meg's point of view which is um, what uh, Johnny's Girl is <laughs> I just realized I said Johnny Skull twice, like it's the same. <laughs> yeah, so it's Johnny Skull and Johnny Skull Ecstasy. There we go. Um, so, <laughs> let's start with these ones. So, <sighs> yes, this is going to be kind of spoilery-ish. Um, but want to try to do it without spoiling too much, but yes, there will be spoilers. Oh, <laughs> but not as much as when I did a uh, regular update. Right, so we start off with Johnny Be Good, the first book in all of them, um, where Meg, who is formerly a PA to an architect, sort of gets referred, I suppose, uh, to be a PA for the rock star that is Johnny Jefferson. So she moves from London to LA and, you know, lives a completely different lifestyle to the, like, I, I think she was living in, like, a student flat share kind of a deal in London, and then she gets to be, like, have her own mini suites in this mini mansion or maybe it is a mansion come to think of it it's quite a different lifestyle you know la parties film premieres whatever but you know it doesn't come without a cost so johnny jefferson well he has that let's say bad boy rock star behavior drinks drugs you name it. And Meg, she goes through a lot just trying to keep Johnny on his feet. Uh, maybe more than she should. She, I mean, she does instantly fall in love with him like all the rest. Uh, so I, I think she sort of like, while well, she takes on too much, let's be honest. Kinda, spoilery, kinda. Um... Meg ends up leaving and going back to London. She starts a relationship with Johnny's best friend. Um, it doesn't end start off that way. They start off as flatmates and then it develops. But then Johnny comes for a visit. And that's where the book ends. Kinda. 
Book number two, baby be mine. Meg has uh, had a baby. But who's the daddy? Her boyfriend? Or the rock star? The rock star. Yeah, yeah. Of course it's the rock star. <laughs> Cause what else? <sighs> so, Meg goes through all the emotions. It's, it's a struggle, what happens. So basically, Meg is with Christian, Johnny's best friend. Christian and Meg start off believing that the kid is Christian's. But then the kid kind of grows up a bit. I mean, he's only one. <laughs> he doesn't grow up that much. But he starts to look more and more like his famous daddy. Johnny obviously finds out and from going from France because they've moved to France Meg and uh, Christian also Meg's parents live in France so why not um, so Meg and Christian goes through a tumultuous breakup I suppose and Johnny ends up taking Meg back to LA where he has a new girlfriend by the way yeah, he has a girlfriend in, in this one too. It's a different one. But this girlfriend, she is basically the drug addiction no one needs in their life. Um, so Meg, not wanting this new girlfriend around her kid, which is understandable because uh, it's toxic. It's so toxic. She ends up leaving again. Yeah. A lot of things happening so I mean it all comes to a good end where Johnny and Meg does end up together and it's it's adorable it's everything we want and and more <laughs> there's a loads of things that's happening around the spoilery parts I've just given you but it's very hard to explain the said books without actually not spoiling it so yes 1010 would recommend you should read they're so easy to read as well you just pick up the book and then you've accidentally finished the book it goes like that i want more though i really really want more then i did read the short story which was jenny's girl and also the extra scene um which kind of it's just like the bridging of the gap and it's kind of also a scene that's kind of in the accidental life of jesse jefferson um so basically what happens in the jesse jefferson series is jesse's mom dies and jesse's mom was a groupie of um johnny's band when he was first starting out and yes of course she got pregnant and she never told Johnny so he doesn't know and now Jessie's 15 and her mum dies on her birthday accidentally rough accident terrible accident a terrible way to go but her stepdad actually knew her knew who her father is so he tells her and he does all things to get in contact with Johnny through his solicitor and, and all that. So now, in the teen drama, that is Jesse Jefferson's life. So Jesse is not actually a Jefferson to start with, she's a pickerel. She finds out Johnny's her dad and they do, they get in contact, obviously. She get, ends up going to LA, which is kind of where the first scene in Johnny's Girl, well, the scene, well, the Johnny's Girl short story takes place sort of like in the middle of things so basically Johnny's girl is Johnny and Meg finding out about Jesse and Meg's first meeting with Jesse um, which is not it's not the greatest impression but everything has <laughs> has a way and it's kind of ooh mistakes are being made <clears throat> Right, battery died and I don't know where I left off, so, hello. Um, Jesse Jefferson. Basically, all three books, she goes back and forth between LA and somewhere in England <laughs> that I forget where she lived. It wasn't London this time, it was somewhere else. 
basically at the same time that Jessie's trying to find herself, trying to get to know her dad, her real biological father, also her stepdad, because it's a bit back and forth there. She's also somehow managing to find two boys. <laughs> one boy in LA and one boy back in England, which both of them want her and she wants both of them. And yeah. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? It's a great series. It's actually a very good series. You can't really tell that it's for teens because it's not like written YA down. The only thing that's making it YA is it's maybe less sex, drugs and rock and roll. Although there is some part of those things as well. Uh, just not as full on maybe as the adult books yeah i'm gonna try to like wrap up this video on my phone because my camera keeps dying ah, yay, me. basically read the books because i mean page tune oh she's one of my favorite authors to start with and i mean these books do not disappoint and you definitely definitely should check out her books, the series, and her other books, to be fair. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you've managed to follow along, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Oh, bye-bye.